Hey guys, so usually you optimize for your funnel. And that can be, let's take an example here, the Google Merchandise Store. Like you have a store, you have a homepage, category page, a PDP page, and then you want to send your traffic to uh, the checkout. So that's, that's the funnel, but it can be very interesting to look at supporting pages. So for example, the shipping page here, if you want to optimize uh, the traffic here, or maybe you want to find out more about the people that are wanting to find information about shipping. Something that I like to do is create here in, in GA4 uh, and go to explore, create a blank exploration, go to path exploration. And usually what it does is it's, it starts at the beginning of a journey. But what I like to do is I click start over here and I start with the end. So imagine the ends of the visitors in this case is shipping information. And I want to see what they did before that. At what point did they wonder about shipping? Uh, on this case, okay, there's not a lot of traffic here, guys. It's just an example, but imagine uh, there was a lot of there is a lot of traffic from shopping carts uh, and that then goes to shipping information. Maybe they're missing information about shipping on the shopping cart. And you can think about, oh, maybe on the shopping cart or on the page underneath or wherever, I should try and put some more information about shipping uh, so that people don't have to go to this page. And this is just an example. Uh, but sometimes you can see really interesting things um, in the previous page that visitors has visited and they can give you a lot of indication on what to test next or how to uh, shape information on your website better this is just one example i hope you find great things in here uh, let me know if you have any questions i'm just on linkedin you can find me just send me a dm all right ciao have fun